I'm Ben Canning, and I'm going to wrap up our collection here for us. So this collection was on graphing uniform motion and kind of a technical approach to speed, velocity, and well, constant speed and velocity. Figured since we started with that old-fashioned train, I'd throw at least a futuristic train on here. So the big idea we've been attempting to build towards this entire unit and probably the next one or two units was this idea of how do we predict the effect of a push or a pull on something. So if we, for example, make the pull from the train bigger, how does that affect the speed of the train or the change in speed of the train and things along those lines? Uh, building towards that, we've now kind of developed a common language to discuss motion, both qualitatively and quantitatively, which brings us to our unit focus, this idea of having a common qualitative language, being able to describe the difference between the speed as, or sorry, the cheetah's speed and velocity, as well as we did develop a quantitative language, so actually being able to calculate the difference between the speed and the velocity of a cheetah chasing a wild wildebeest or water buffalo or whatever this is. Actually, I think those are water buffalo, and I think this is a wildebeest. Which brings us to the idea of the collection focus. We are really focusing on the idea of graphing. So we can use a graph to figure out exactly when a cheetah will catch up if we don't want to do calculations per se. Um, but regardless, if we're using graphs or calculations, that allows us to make precise predictions about how far something will go if it's moving at a constant speed, or if we're comparing two things, kind of when they'll be at the same location or things along those lines. The thing is, we've only been talking about constant speed. Which brings us to what we'll move into next, which is the idea of how do you describe and quantify changes in speed or motion. So no longer talking about something that is going a constant speed, but how do we describe this part of the graph right here? Meaning the idea that this cheetah is speeding up. What do we do um, to describe that in physics? And that'll be the focus of the next unit. That's it. Three bullet points of notes, one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions.